there's people in Stonewall, Arm, Rockwood, Ross, or Woodlands that needs transportation to uh, Health Sciences Center or to the Cancer Care in Manitoba that can't afford it. We're here, just they need help paying for it. Dave Underwood is echoing the frustrations of other transport companies who say they could be doing more to support Manitoba's health care system. Underwood launched his mobility service during the start of COVID. They offer handicapped transport for patients living in communities north of Winnipeg. We transport anybody that's over the age of 65, has medical issues, uh, anybody that can't drive, anybody that has sight impairment, hearing impairment, or any of those, or that needs uh, needs medical transportation. Underwood has six drivers on staff, all with first aid training operating four mobility buses. They only transport patients who are in stable condition. For this reason, Underwood says he doesn't understand why the Interlake Eastern Regional Health Authority doesn't use his service more and other similar providers in the area to drive patients to much needed appointments. It's just a lack of understanding of why the hospital or, or, or the Interlake Eastern Regional Health Authority in this case won't uh, pay for us to transport uh, people to their appointments, such as Cancer Care Manitoba, um, instead of taking an ambulance out of service to send them by ambulance, um, where the ambulance is $1,400 and we're $40 for the round trip. John McKay is the owner of Community Paramedic Service in Selkirk, a transport service that has offered over 6,000 medical transports since 2022. He says patients in rural Manitoba continue to miss their appointments because these cost-effective solutions are underutilized and often patients don't know they exist. If we focus on uh, the citizen and, and not necessarily on the how but what the need is and then work to fulfill the need, that should be the primary driver and right now we're it seems that we're failing to do that. There's a grant program in the province for nonprofit agencies that are providing transport services but Dwayne Nickel from the city of Selkirk says that funding has been frozen for several years. It is not kept up with the cost of uh, cost of living, the cost of, of, of providing that service as it escalates over time and so we also need to reinvest in some of the vehicles that we have uh, so not just buses but smaller individual uh, units so that we can provide people that individual care taking them to facility if they're coming for their diet appointment or cancer treatment. Underwood receives funding from the province but says more Manitobans need to be made aware that these services are available. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa City News.